Hello, this is Jury Summons, and some people wanted some more uh, video on this, so I thought I would show one of my uh, more favorite designs and uh, show a few tips that I learned. Um, you always want those guys to be safe. <laughs> we'll throw a, a decoupler on, and because uh, I like the SAS modules, we'll throw one right there. And then I'm going to throw some fuel tanks on. Fuel tank. Bam! Look at that. Alright, so we're going to throw a uh, another decoupler, a tricoupler. I'm going to turn on symmetry right there. It's really helpful if you guys haven't used it before. I would get familiar with that. So we'll put some more fill tanks on, like a boss. go all right so we have two stages here so this is the first stage currently or the fourth stage rather and this is the second stage so let's um, this is going to be pretty heavy so we need some more thrust to get this up into the air so we'll put one of these on there and it's not going to be enough so let's put another one on there Is that level? Let me see here. And since this is symmetrical, since I have it in symmetrical mode, this is going to be uh, exactly the same on each of them. Yeah, that's good. There we go. And some solid fuel boosters. Yeah. That'll do the trick. That's pretty close to being level. <laughs> um, let's see here. I'll throw a sands module on here too because this can get a little crazy here. There we go. So I have those three and then one more at the top, near the top of the stack. So I should keep this stable at least somewhat. And so here's my giant phallic symbol of doom. All right, let's give it a lunch and see what happens. All right, all the kerbals are ready. Bill, Jeb, Bob, you guys ready down there? <laughs> all right, let's launch. Oh, it's looking good. I enabled the sass. There we go. Very stable flight now. I don't have very much uh, speed right now, but that should get better. I am having to do some manual correction with the, just the single SAS unit. at the bottom there how close we are to zero to straight up and down all right I think we're doing good on fuel we've gone through one tank already for each is looking good.
go. For some reason, it likes to go that. It likes to wobble off course. I don't know why. <laughs> Bob's freaking out. Space flight. All right, we're on the last fuel for this uh, stage. Oh, look at that delt! Look at that that uh, velocity. We're doing really good. We're gonna end this stage with 1,500 uh, meters per second. That's great. Why is it wobbling all of a sudden? It's wobbling like crazy now. It has less to worry about and it's wobbling more. Oh, that's gonna hurt the velocity some. There we go. This is the last fuel tank we're on now. About halfway done. Oh, we hit the 3,000 3, uh, meters per second. That's good. That's really good. We're doing it. And there we go. That's our final velocity, 3,800 meters per second. And we're already at 4,300 me, uh, 43, 430,000 meters out. And that means that we're probably going to, um, if I let this drift, it's probably going to get out to five or six million meters before it starts drifting back. I think that's a pretty good launch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here, and then I'm going to let this go in the background for a while. Um, Last time I did this, it took almost an hour for it to finally reach its end velocity. Um, but well, it, was for, it was a different craft, but it took like two or three hours. So I'm not sure what this will do. Um, so yeah, I'll let this go in the background, and I'll come back when it's at more of an exciting point. All right. All right, we're back, and we're at just over 11 million kilometers and we still have 2,900 meters per second, which means that uh, we're still moving really, really, really fast. And so I, I'm not sure how far this is going to go, but it's been an hour. And um, I think I'm going to, well, I might let it go for another couple hours, but I, I just wanted to close this um, here and just uh, so I can finalize the video and get it uploaded tonight. But um, I think it suffice to say that this um, this rocket that I designed is pretty effective, at least um, at least on a straight 
up launch like this. All right, and if uh, I'll put a link to the um, to this game in the description bar, and if uh, if you guys want to see any more of this, let me know. Bye.